it is Jocelyn Elise, that mindset teacher, encouraging you to change your thoughts so that we can change the world. Listen, listen, friend. Today, we are talking all about productivity. So we all have different goals. We all have different aspirations, different dreams that we want to accomplish in our lives. There are things that we want to get done and we find ourselves working and working and working and going through our daily routines and our goals still aren't being met. We don't see ourselves producing anything that looks like the life that we want to live, that looks like the things that we want to be putting out into the world. So today I'm gonna talk to you guys about a tool that was a total game changer for me, especially in my teacher life. And that is the power list. So if you watched my previous video, Time Management Tips for Teachers, then you have heard me talk about the power list before. And I know that I really focused on ways that teachers can use a power list in managing their time and the many tasks that they have to do. But I also feel like the power list is a tool that literally anybody can apply and use to be able to work more efficiently, intentionally, and to just be more productive. So what is a power list, you might ask? <laughs> a power list is a very, very short, concise list of things that you want to accomplish. It's literally no more than three or four items. If you have more than four things on your power list, that means you are doing too much. It is a short, short, concise, very strategic list that focuses on what you want to accomplish within that time frame. So when I write my power list, I like to focus on what I would like to get done within the day. So before I go to bed, I always kind of look at my running to-do list, y'all. I still keep that super long, exhausting, terrifying to-do list that when I look at it, I'm like, whoa, child, I am never gonna get these things done. So I might as well not work on any of it. I might as well sit in bed, relax and chill because there's just too much to do. See, that's the trap. This is why power lists work so well because I can look at that long to-do list of things that I have to get done and I can choose, okay, these are the three things that for today I want to work on to make sure that I'm working towards accomplishing the things that I want to accomplish. So that power list, very specific, very concise, very short list of things that I know I want to get done. And it allows me to focus on those specific tasks. A lot of us say like, oh, well, I'm multitasking. I'm getting multiple things done at one time. And that is not at all what we are doing. We are task switching. We are not multitasking. When I multitask, I'm doing two things at once. Right now, I am talking and I'm moving my hands. It's happening at the same time. But if I start talking and then I start moving my hands, I am not multitasking. I am stopping what I'm doing. I'm pausing. I'm stopping the time that I'm, that I'm dedicating to talking to moving my hand. So it's like when we think about all of the things that we want to get done, we are thinking what is important? What do I need to focus my time on and really dedicate a good chunk of time on completing? So just like I mentioned, I usually choose my power list from a long list of to-do items. So I am all about writing things down. Well, honestly, typing things out because I keep my power list on my phone. Um, so making sure that I type out. So literally, if I'm in a meeting and they say, okay, teachers, y'all need to fill out feedback forms by this day, I will jump straight to my running to-do list. I'm not putting it on my power list yet. I'm just putting it on that running to-do list of things that I need to accomplish. And I'm going to say, okay, feedback forms on you know, and I might put the date that I know they need to get done. So if I haven't moved it to a power list yet, um, by, you know, that day or the day before, I'm making sure that I see I'm aware this is coming up 
and I can move it over to the power list as I get closer to that time. But if I have like a ton of different projects that are time sensitive or things that I want to get done or I have a video that I need to record or something that I need to edit, I'm not necessarily going to prioritize those feedback forms of, oh, I put that on my to-do list, got to go ahead and do that and then start it and then halfway start editing a video, then halfway start and then never really getting through any of those things. I'm just going to put it on my long to-do list of things to do or okay you know what I want to clean out the closet I am going to put that on my long running to-do list and then when it's convenient for me when I can work that into my schedule that's when I'll go ahead and move it over to my power list so I have that long to-do list of things where I can look at all of the different things that I want to accomplish or that I want to do but then I can also go to my power list and see okay what do I want to dedicate my time to today and depending on the day or depending on what's going on and how time is looking is how I will kind of decide which of the things from my running to-do list get to make it over to my power list so if I know okay grades are due this week so i'm gonna spend majority of my time getting through those grades so and i won't just say on my power list i won't just say grades i might say complete all social studies grades on this day because if i just say grades i teach social studies i teach ela and it might be <laughs> a lot trying to get all of those grades done in one day so i'm just gonna say you know what complete social studies grades and if i want to knock out grades all together i might say okay great this specific assignment in ela let's go ahead and finalize social studies or let's go ahead and finalize ela grades after i've graded that specific assignment so then i all of my tasks on my to-do list are associated with grades that day so i'm just saying i'm gonna knock that thing out but <laughs> I'm also breaking that task down so when I look at it and I sit down I'm not like oh I'm gonna be doing this all oh, for forever I can look at social studies go ahead get that done and then maybe I move on to something else like I'm gonna dedicate this amount of time to getting that first power list item done then I'm gonna move on and I might watch tv or eat lunch or do something for myself and then come back to the next item a little bit later so I'm not task switching I'm not saying oh I'm gonna start this and then I'm gonna do something else and then I'm gonna come back to this no I'm gonna go ahead complete that item and then I can live life a little bit come back complete the next item live life come back and complete the next item when it is convenient for me throughout my day. And honestly, y'all, I have times within my day where I'm like, okay, these are the times that I'm gonna map out for my power list items. So I know that I typically get to work at around 7.30, but class doesn't start till 8.30. So I say, you know what, 7.30 to 8.30, that's time that I'm dedicating to one of my power list items. That's time that I'm going to use to complete something on my power list. Then I have my planning time that's from, um, what is my planning time? Y'all, it's, it's May. It's a lot. It's a lot happening in my brain right now. Uh, but I have my planning time from 125 to 210. So I know that's a time in my schedule where I can be working on something in my power list. Then I know that we kind of clean up, start getting things together at around three o'clock, but dismissal goes from three o'clock to 350 because of COVID, y'all, it's a lot of happening. So I will go ahead and say like, okay, while the kids are kind of just chilling out, waiting for their buses to be called, I'll, um, just go ahead and work on another item on my to-do list. So I have three different times mapped out in my schedule of me saying like, I'm gonna pick up my power list and I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff done. And I'm not gonna pause. I'm not gonna run around and be trying to do other things or I'm looking at all the different things I need to accomplish. I'm just gonna focus on this one thing, get it done and move on. And that's why it's so important for the things on our power list to be specific, not just saying like, oh, I'm gonna clean the whole house. Um, if that's like something you want to like put on for your entire day where you're saying I'm going to use the whole day to clean the house and I'm not going to put anything else on my to-do list, then that's cool. But I don't know <laughs> if you're anything like me, but it takes time for me to clean my whole house. So maybe I say, you know what, I'm going to do laundry and I'll clean the bathroom and I am going to clean up our bedroom. And those are the three things that I'm going to get done on that Saturday afternoon or that 
Sunday, I'm going to make sure that I complete those couple of tasks. So it's really, really, really allows us to focus our time in on something very specific, making sure we get through things. And the great thing about the power list is that all of the things that we put on this power list are going to be things that push us towards our goal. So as we are talking about the power list, I cannot record this video without talking about Google Keep. I absolutely love Google Keep as a space to manage all of my different to-do lists, to manage my running to-do lists, to manage my power list. Um, I have like lists that are focused on specific things as well. And I love how Google Keep allows me to have it in one area, like have all of my lists in one area. I was doing it on the notes app and the notes app is cool and all, but I actually take notes in the notes app as well. And so I would see, I'll have to like scroll through all the different notes to find my to-do list where in Google Keep, I literally just put my to-do list there. So that way all of my to-do lists are in one spot. They're easy to find. I will change the color of different to-do lists so that way I can find them even easier and it can sync with um, my reminders so I can literally remind myself at a specific time or at a specific place. I love that one y'all. So just thinking about okay what are the things that I need to do in order to accomplish this goal and instead of saying I need to get them all done today just say okay I'm gonna complete these two things today and then the next day I'll complete these three things and then the next day and just going ahead and adding those things to your plate a little bit at a little bit because a lot of times we like to just pow 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 and stack things on our plates so our plates are just unbearable and we don't have the strength to carry them anymore so instead of doing that just a little you know okay let's let's slide this in and just using that power list to make sure that we are not overwhelming ourselves so I hope that this video was helpful to you guys. I hope that you are able to use a power list to really help you stay focused and intentional with your time. If you enjoy my content, please like, comment, and subscribe down below. I absolutely love my Mindset family. Y'all are amazing. Um, The support and just all of the comments and the things, the feedback that I have been getting um, as I've been recording these <laughs> videos has just been amazing. So I love y'all. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay blessed.